glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, our Father. In heaven we glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, our Father. In heaven we glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Praise the Lord. Good evening, my brethren. I bring you good tidings from the Lord. From Glorious Better Ministry, Manchester. Um, I welcome us to the awesome presence of the living God. And I pray that as we come seeking Him this evening, our prayers will rise up unto Him. And um, we will see the glory of His presence. We will experience Him in a new dimension in Jesus' name. I welcome us once again. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we give you glory. We give you praise for who you are in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your love for us. Thank you because you are our God, you are our rock. Thank you, Lord, because you are our Father. We say be that lifted in Jesus' name. Amen. Ancient of this King of glory, we bless you, even for the salvation of our souls. Thank you, Lord, for the grace and opportunity you have given unto us, even to land at your feet this evening. We say be that magnified in Jesus' name. Amen. We exalt you in all the heart. We adore you in all the heart. We glorify you. We give you all glory, honor, and adoration for everything that you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing and the great and mighty heights you are taking us. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. We come unto your presence this evening, Lord, we pray. That in any way we might have sinned against you, we ask, O oh God, for the blood of the everlasting covenant, that that blood will avail for us this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. That we have come unto you and we will see you because we are seeking you with the whole of our heart. We will experience you in a new way, in a new dimension, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Daddy. I ask, O oh God, that Lord, you will cause me to decrease, that Jesus might increase through me. As I open my mouth, Lord, you will fill it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, I have a small song to sing to us before I go into the uh, topic that the Lord has laid on my heart to share with us this evening. And the title of the song is a happiness song because what we are talking about this evening is about the secret of happiness, finding happiness, the secret of happiness. Happiness is the Lord. That's the title of my song. May the Lord bless us as we listen in Jesus' name. Happiness is to know the Savior living alive within his favor having a change in my behavior. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is to know the Savior living alive Within his favor, having a change in my behavior, happiness is the Lord. Real joy is mine, no matter if teardrops start. I found the secret, tis Jesus in my heart. Happiness is a new creation. Jesus and me, in close relation, having a part in his salvation. Happiness is the Lord, real joy, real joy is mine. No matter if teardrops start, I found a secret. Since Jesus in my heart, happiness is to be forgiven, living the life that's worth the living, taking a trip that plays to heaven. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord. Real joy is mine, no matter if teardrops start. 
I found the secret. Tis Jesus in my life. Happiness is to know the Savior living a life within his favor. Having a change in my behavior. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what Hallelujah. we want to share with us this evening is about the secret of happiness. When we say happiness, everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants joy. Everybody wants to be blessed. Everybody wants to be happy. But what is the secret of this happiness we are talking about? Happy is the man who realizes that he is broke. Happy is the man who finds God. Happy is the man who realizes that he is poor. You know, in the book of Matthew, saying about the beatitudes, the, 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 the Bible says that happy, uh, blessed is the, is the poor. Blessed are the poor because they shall be rich. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Because when you find yourself being poor in the spirit, when you find yourself being broke, being destitute, you will, you will be rich in the end. When you seek the Lord with the whole of your heart. So the psalmist in Psalm 51, verses 3 to 4. He says, For I recognize my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight. The psalmist had a contrite heart. He repented of all his sins and he wrote this Psalm 51. And he was saying in verse 3 and 4 that he recognizes that he has sinned against the Lord. That his sin is haunting him. So the secret of happiness lies in knowing the Lord. Lies in having a life that is aligned to the plan of salvation that God had for mankind by sending the Lord Jesus Christ to die for the perpetration of our sins. Also in Psalm 1, verses 1 to 2, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the ways of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and is in his law doth he meditate day and night. Mm. That delight, that is the joy, that is the happiness that the Bible is referring to. A man that is not walking in the ways that, is, that everybody is walking, a man that is not ungodly, a man that is not standing with sinners, a man that is not sitting with the scornful. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord? That it is meditating in the war of the Lord, word of the Lord, will find happiness. So the only secret of happiness lies in knowing God, lies in knowing Jesus and accepting Him as our personal Lord and Savior. So if we are under the sound of the ministration this evening and we are not genuinely born again, we cannot find happiness. It is not my word, but thus says the Lord. The secret to a lasting happiness, to a lasting joy, lies in us allowing in our, our lives to Christ. Praise the Lord. So if you want to be happy, you need to start there, right from the word of God. You need to take delight in the word of God. You need to eat it day and night. You need to meditate in it. You need to fall in love with it. You need to fall in love with the word of God. You need to let it be the center of your life. You need to see yourself as a sinner, confess your sins, and repent of them. And ask the Lord Jesus Christ to be the Lord of your life. And align yourself to living right, to living godly, to living righteous, because the eyes of a sinner cannot behold the glory of God. And without holiness, we cannot please the Lord. Without holiness, we cannot make heaven. So, in order to find happiness, when you repent of your sins, there will be no guilt feeling. You know the guilt feeling when somebody is as, as deep, when we have dipped our hand into different things, when we have compromised, even as a believer, when we have dipped our, our hands into different things, the guilt feeling will come. When we, when we dip our hand into sinful hearts, the devil has gained a foothold and he will be reminding you, you call yourself a Christian sister, you call yourself a woman of God, you call yourself a man of God, and you have done this and you have done that. So the guilt feeling robs a child of God of the joy of salvation. The guilt feeling robs us of even the entire life because when there's no happiness, when there's no joy, of what use is the life of an individual? 
That is why you see people these days, when they are looking for happiness, that when they are looking for joy, they look in the wrong places. People are looking in the wrong places in, instead of aligning themselves unto God. Instead of turning around, turning aside and saying, God, take over my life. People are taken into drugs. People are taken into alcohol. People are taken into all sorts of things that doesn't bring lasting joy. There's a song that says, You alone are the true joy giver and the poor of my eyes. I love you, Lord, more than gold and silver. You are the only true joy giver. Jesus is the only true joy giver. If the world give you joy, if they give you happiness, it can last from morning till the afternoon. It can even last a day, but it cannot last forever. If a, if a husband gives the wife joy, if a parent gives the children joy, it doesn't last. Jesus is the only true joy giver. The kind of joy that lasts and lasts. Now to the main text of my message this evening. Exodus chapter 9 verses 8 to 10. I read to us from here. Praise the Lord. Ecclesiastes, it will only chapter 9, verses 8 to 10. Praise the Lord. Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of, thy, of the life of thy vanity, which he had given thee under the sun. All the days of thy vanity, for that is thy portion in this life. And in thy labor, which thou takest under the sun. Verse 10. Whatsoever, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Praise the Lord. Interestingly, the preacher in the book of Ecclesiastes, the person who wrote that, identified the secret of happiness. He identified and discovered the secret of happiness. And that is what we are sharing this evening. He mentioned the three imperatives for happiness. The three imperatives for happiness in this life, as the, the Spirit of God has made me to realize, and according to the book of Ecclesiastes that we have read, the first and foremost is your spiritual life. Your spiritual life. You need to be born again. Is your name written in the book of life? Is Jesus the Lord of of your life your relationship with god always be clothed in white and always anoint your head with oil according to verse 8 that is referring to your spiritual life that is referring to your relationship with god is your head anointed with oil are you a firebrand christian are you burning for the lord are you lukewarm are you still in the race are you still on the way or are you living on past glory? That, oh, me, I gave my life to Christ 25 years ago. Oh, I gave my life to Christ 40 years ago. That is not what will take us to heaven. It is your stand, your right standing with God, and your name being found in the book of life that will take you there. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. The psalmist says in the book of Psalm 23, verse 5, you know, he says, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Our head needs to be anointed with oil. That is the anointing and the leadership of the Holy Spirit. The unction of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. Our relationship with God. Especially at this time when everything is going to... Everything is dragging. Everything is going. We are, we are the 11th hour. Jesus Christ, the bridegroom, can appear anytime. Are we prepared? What is our relationship like with, with, our, with our God? Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. That refers to the, the presence of the Spirit of God in our lives. Are we allowing the Spirit of God to lead? As a child of God, as a woman of faith, as a man of God, are you allowing the Spirit of God to, to lead? Are we not wise in our own eyes? What is our relationship with, with God like? We have heard it on Monday about getting prepared so that we will not be found wanting. We have had the message yesterday about being focused. Are we really focused? Are we not getting distracted by the things of the world? Are we not getting distracted? Because our life is like a child who has been sent to the market. Go to the market and come back to come and give report. Then the child gets to the market and instead of buying the thing that he or she was sent to buy, 
He's looking at this, looking at that, doing all sorts of things, playing and doing all sorts of things like that. Would the parent be happy with such a child? Just literally speaking. So the same way God expects of us, this world is a market. We've, we are only here for, it, for, for a short time. Heaven is real and hell is also real. The foundation for every other relationship is our relationship with God. The imperative of, of, of the secret of happiness lies in our, us being aligned, aligned to, the, to, to the will of God, being aligned to the purpose of God and the plan of God for our lives. So it is the foundation for every other relationship. Let your garment be always white. In verse 8 of the scripture means purity. Your happiness is locked onto your purity. Let your head lack no ointment. Is this, it symbolizes the presence of the Holy Spirit. Are we spirit filled? Are we not filled with food? Are we not filled with different things? Are we not filled with the worldly things? We need to live a pure life, fully controlled by the Spirit. If you live a, 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 a holy and a righteous life, purely controlled by the Holy Spirit, fully charged by the Holy Spirit, being inspired by the Holy Spirit, you are a happy man. You are a happy woman. No impure life is ever truly a happy one. Any life that is full of different things. The devil comes robbing us of, our, of the joy of our salvation when we start to compromise. When we start to say it doesn't matter. This one that doesn't matter. That one doesn't matter. Where are we missing it? May the Lord help us. May the Holy Spirit inspire us so that we'll be able to retrace our step back to God and we will be in right standing with God. The usefulness of anything depends on upon the upon its purity. So on, on our Christian race, the usefulness of the of the journey itself, the usefulness of that that covenant we made with God that oh I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior today. Father, write my name into the book of life. The usefulness of that journey. The usefulness of all, all those things that people of the world are doing and you are not doing is in you making them. It, it depends on the purity of life. It is very essential. No impure life can ever be truly a happy one. It can never be happy. Keep your hearts clean for they will soil easily as a white dress. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. It is God's will that blessings be called down upon our head, just like the anointing oil. And it is his will that goodness and mercy will follow us. He will that we should be happy and we should be cheerful. That is God's will for everyone. Believe it or not, your happiness is connected to your holiness and to your purity. The holiness of life and holiness of the heart. What are you thinking about? What is occupying the special place in your heart? Are you thinking about a man? Are you thinking about a woman? Are you thinking about money? Are you thinking about gold and silver? All the vanity that will soon pass away. Are you thinking about properties? Are you thinking about all the things that, will, that is passing away? You know, the Bible said the world is going. The world is passing. Everything is just passing. Everything will be destroyed. What are we holding on to? Now, the second imperative for the secret of happiness is the family life. Our relationship with our spouse relationship with our children, relationship with our parents. Enjoy life with your wife, who you love, all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun. When we get to heaven, you cannot say, eh, eh, I'm looking for my husband, though. Oh, I want to be on honey moon, oh. I want to do this. Oh. God has given you that person. God has given you the grace to be married while Christ starts so that you can enjoy that marriage. If the, you are called upon now that your husband suddenly dropped dead or your wife suddenly dropped dead, there's no enjoyment again. So the second imperative to happiness, after we have sorted our relationship with God, is the, it's our family life. It's our family relationship. As many of us that are under the sound of the voice this evening that are married, that is the first ministry that God has put into your hands to profit and to prosper for God in. So if you say, oh, I'm not a pastor, oh, I'm not a reverend, I'm not a bishop, God has not called me. No, you've been called. There is a call, a special call and a special grace upon your life. Your family is your first ministry. How are you relating with them? How are you relating with your husband? How are you relating with your wife? 
How are you relation, relating with your, with your children? Can they confide in you? Can they come to you if there's anything going on in their lives? May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So our relationship with our family is very, very important. When we, if we want to really pursue the secret of happiness, if we want to be happy, and if we want to have the joy that lasts, life is meaningless and life is so toilsome. So the very little time we have here, let us enjoy it with the family where God has put us. God has put you into that family for a purpose. There is no one, no, no gift, no gift that anybody can give to you that can make you have joy and happiness that lasts. Your wife or your husband that you, God has put you with, God has done that for his name to be glorified. God has done that for you to be happy with that person. So whatever it is that is going on, like we shared on Monday, we need to have a forgiving spirit. If we don't forgive and we don't let go, we will be killing our spouses over and over again. If it is possible to kill your husband in the morning because he stepped on your toes, you will kill him again in the afternoon because something has happened. You will kill your wife in the evening because something happens. So let us forgive. Let us let go. Praise the Lord. The third imperative to happiness, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 8 to 10 that we've read, is found in the verse 10. It is our vocational life. Relationship with your job. What is your relationship like with your job? There is dignity in labor. There is dignity in labor. There is a sense of fulfillment that comes from knowing that, okay, this is the job I chose to do. This is my profession. This is what I'm doing to put food on my table. Whatever your, find, your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For in the grave where you are going, there is neither working nor planning, nor knowledge nor wisdom. So the preacher is not concerned about whether you like your job or not. He said, whatever your hand finds to do, do it. Do it well. The Bible said, anything that we do as a child of God, do it as unto the Lord. Do it to the glory of God. God has made that job possible for a reason. God wants you to be productive. Our vocational life, our relationship with our job, let us take it seriously. There is no job in the grave. But that doesn't mean that we have to leave our family because we are pursuing happiness and we want dignity of labor. Now leave your family, leave, your, leave everything else, leave your relationship with God and be pursuing job. That is not what this message is about. The message is about finding a, a, a balance, a work-life balance between our relationship with God, our relationship with our family and our, our vocational life. That is how we can pursue and find the secret of happiness. The kind of happiness and joy that lasts. How long does one have to spend on this toilsome heart that he will not give himself the best? If you are working, eat, eat well, live well. It's only here. Psalm 39 verse 6 says, Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He that he up riches and knoweth not Know it not who shall gather them. The Yoruba Bible says, There should be a work-life balance. There should be a balance in everything. There should be a balance. There should be a balance. And to those people who think, Oh, it is somebody that will give me happiness. Oh, it is my husband that is supposed to make me happy. Oh, it is my wife that is not making me happy. Stop it. If you are in such a category, stop it. Nobody, born of a woman, can give you happiness that will last. It is only God that gives joy and happiness that lasts. It is only him that gives without taking it back. It is only him that gives without saying, oh, I'm the one that gives it to him, to him or her. If your husband gives you joy in January, he might not give you in February. So when you are busy thinking that, oh, your husband has got to give you joy, your wife has got to give you joy or happiness, that spouse that you are depending on, looking on to for happiness it's also looking for it so how are you going to be satisfied when that person is also in need there was a time i was in such a situation that i was thinking oh my husband has got to dance to my whims and caprices so he has to do everything that i say he has to do this and that to make me happy and when anytime he does otherwise i think oh my god i've been disappointed i've been cheated i've been used i've been this and that and i was getting depressed 
But when the Lord touched me, when the Lord touched me, I came to the realization that I cannot de de be depending on my husband for happiness. The happiness that lasts only comes from the Lord. So don't let us say, oh, because of what my wife has done, because of what, what my husband has done, I'm getting depressed. The devil is out to rob you of your joy. The devil has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So when we realize that, we'll be able to retrace our step back to God. We'll be able to claim that that, that is ours in the, in the Lord. The joy and happiness that lasts. No human being will give that to you. No parent can give that. No spouse can give that. No child can give that. No job can give that. Only God gives that. And the, the three ways that we can have the secret to a lasting happiness is what we have just discovered in the book of Ecclesiastes 9, chapter, 8, um, chapter 9, verses 8 to 10. So you, you are the only one who holds the key to your happiness. Happiness is a choice. Happiness is a choice. So when you choose to follow the Lord, it is a choice that you need to make. When you choose to make things right, according to the Bible passage that we have read, to watch your relationship with God, to watch your vocational life, and the relationship with your family, especially with your spouse, all these things are, are given the imperative for, for the secret of happiness that will last for us. When you, when you do that, then you will have a lasting happiness. You will not be thinking, oh, somebody has got to come and give it to me. If it is a tablet that you are on, that you think is giving you happiness. There are so many tablets, you know, so many medications, they call happy pills. It's, it only lasts for a short while. The lasting happiness is found in God. It's only found in God. So it is a choice that you need to make. The key to your happiness has not been given to your husband. The key to your happiness has not been given to your parents or to anybody or a colleague at work. It is in your hands. So find it. Choose it. Choose to be happy. Be clothed. Enjoy life. Find happiness. Do it. It is your choice. You have enough reason not to be happy. But you can decide against unhappiness. Find it in God and in your relationship with Him. Find it in your family life and find it in your daily work. Once you are able to properly locate your happiness and joy in these factors, a great gain is going to be a great peace and tranquility will be yours when your happiness is not tied to anything in this world it's not tied to anybody create your own happiness the key has been given to you by god when we align ourselves with god then we will be able to take make that choice you may not be able to change reality but you can control the manner in which you look at things your attitude is within your own control so we have some attitudes that get us depressed to the extent that some people will think, oh, there's nothing to live for in this world. I want to kill myself. It is only God that gives lasting joy and happiness. To attain your desired success and indeed happiness, you need to weed out the negative and focus on the, on the positive. Some people will say on social media, positive vibes only. Get rid of every negativity. You don't have to feel guilty when you are trying to fi fix the cracks in your self-confidence or in your life. When you confess your sins to God, nobody, no devil can get a, gain a foothold in your life to be, to be giving you guilty feeling. You will have joy. The joy that lasts. Nobody will, can come around and come and back, blackmail you that, but you did this, you did that, you are a sinner. When you have already confessed that sin. When your name is already written, written in the book of life. Know that you do not find the happy life. If you don't find the happy life, you need to make it. And you have the power to create anything. Just about anything. It is your choice to make. Don't rely on anybody for happiness. It is only God that gives it. And the only way we can get it, I will just read for us again, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verses 8 to 10. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let thy garments be always white. And let thy head lack no ointment. That is about our spiritual life and our relationship with God. Verse 9. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he has given thee under the sun. All the days of thy vanity, for that is the portion, that is thy portion in this life, and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun. That is your family life, your relationship life. Verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, 
do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. We are only here for a while. So whatever your hand find to do, do it well with all your might. So you can profit the kingdom of heaven with it. So you can profit your family with it. So you can profit yourself with it. There is dignity in labor. May the Lord help us. And may the Lord bless his word in our lives in Jesus name. Shall we pray? Praise the Lord. Brethren, I want us to pray and bless the Lord. For the word that he has sent to us this evening well, about finding happiness, you. secret of happiness. Father, finding you. lasting Lord. happiness. Father, we thank you for your word Father, that you have sent to us this Lord. evening. The Bible because said that you send your words and your word he led them. Thank you, O Lord, because your word has come Father, to us this, this evening, even to heal us, to restore us, even to heal us of all our guilt feeling, even for us to turn to you, even for us to see what you want us to do, to align ourselves to your purpose. Blessed be thy name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, I want us to pray that God, the Lord should forgive us for looking elsewhere for our happiness. Some of us are looking at money for our happiness. Some of us are looking at our children for happiness. Some of us are looking up to our spouses for our happiness. Let us pray that Father, forgive me for looking elsewhere. Forgive me for looking elsewhere. Forgive me for, 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 for thinking my happiness is tied to different things in this world. Father, forgive us, Lord. Father, Lord, the Bible said that the eyes of a sinner cannot behold your glory. We want to behold your glory. We ask, O oh God, that you will forgive us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Forgive us, Lord, for not trusting you explicitly. Forgive us, Lord, even for not doing what you want us to do. Forgive us, Lord, for not living right. Forgive us, Lord, in every way we have sinned against you. The Bible said that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Father, Lord, forgive us. Father, cause us to enjoy your mercy and your compassion, O God. God, so that we have a lasting Father, joy. In Jesus' as name we pray. Amen. Brethren, I want us to Amen. pray that the Lord God will encounter us in a new way so that we will have a true joy, mm. lasting joy, lasting happiness. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we Father, pray Lord God, that Lord you encounter us once oh, again, O oh God. You Lord encounter God. us as you women. You king, encounter us as mothers. You encounter us as wives. Things. You encounter Father, us as children, you can encounter all our men, you will encounter us, Lord, Jeremiah, even to translate Jeremiah us even to the realm that you want us to be operating. Jeremiah, you will encounter us, Lord, so that our joy will be full in you. Father, Lord, as many souls that the devil has dropped of their joy of their salvation, Father, Lord, I pray you will restore in the name of Jesus. Ancient of this single glory, we pray, O God, that you will be the Lord of our lives. Oh, we Lord, declare and decree that you are God. We pray, O oh God, that the joy of Father, our salvation will be ours forever and shall be full in the name of Jesus. Strength, that the devil will not rob us of our pray, joy, Lord. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Ancient of the kingdom of glory, we ask, O oh God, because you are the only one that gives the true joy, the true happiness that lasts. Father, fill our hearts, Lord. Father, fill our hearts, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, let us pray that the joy of salvation will be ours forever. Mm, mm. The joy of salvation will be ours forever. The red devil will not rob us of the joy of our salvation. Mm. That the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ will not be in vain over our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father, we pray, we pray we Lord, that the God. jobs of our salvation even Father, shall be, shall be pray, ours we forever in the name of Jesus. Nothing will rob us of our joy. The devil will not rob us of our joy. The world will not rob us of our joy. Ah, Father, Lord, we pray that you will help us, Lord. You will cause us to be secure in you in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that the, the, the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus will not be in vain over our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray that no, nothing and nobody will rob us of the job of our salvation in the name of Jesus. Ancient of this King of glory, Father, because we know and we recognize that you are the one that gives true happiness and true joy that lasts. If Father, let this be our, our portion, O oh God, in the, the name of Jesus. Prayer, Have your way in our lives, Lord. Holy Spirit, divine, feel us, Lord. Fill us, Lord. Charge us, Lord. Feel us, Lord. Charge us, Lord. Every shake of in our life begin to shake, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ancient of this thing, of Lord, we ask, O God, you will encounter us afresh. You will touch our lives, Lord. You will touch every life under the sound of this ministration this evening, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that you continue to be the Lord of our life. You be the Lord. You be our 
Savior and will cause our God's salvation to be sure. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you have your way in our lives, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I want us to pray that the grace to be focused on God. Hmm. We heard it yesterday that we need to be focused. We need to remove every distraction. Are we not getting distracted? Because we've been waiting, we've been our heart has been yearning and panting. Oh, the Lord Jesus is coming. He is coming, he's coming, but he's not here yet. Are we not daily darling? Are we not going into 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 uh into a mode, a resting mode. Are we not resting? Are we not at ease? The Bible said, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. As a child, as a child of God that wants to make heaven, let us pray that the Lord will prepare us, that the Lord will keep us in his love, that the Father Lord will, will cause us even to be firebrand Christians, Father, we that we will be a true Father, ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we will not be comfortable in Zion, we will not be comfortable, we will strive, we will continue to strive after the righteousness of God, we will continue to wait and tarry even in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the place of prayer, Father Lord will pray, that Lord will prepare us, the grace even to, 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 to pant and yearn after your righteousness, the grace even to strive to know more of you, the grace even to do your will at all times, the grace to obey you unto letter, the grace to follow you, even with Without wavering, without faltering, without relenting, you will give unto us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You will renew our strength in you, Lord. That, Lord, we will not be found wanting in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you give us the grace to live with eternity in view. In the name of Jesus. Ancient of this name of God, we pray that you have your way in our lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. We declare and decree that you are Lord and God over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, I want us to pray Amen. that the devil and the world will not rob us of our joy. In any way, in any challenges, in any situation, our joy will be full. Turn it to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, we pray that the God. devil and the world will not rob Father, us of our joy. In the name of Jesus. Father, we Lord, we pray in any situation we, we find ourselves, us. because you are beaten for all situations, you are the God that calls into existence, existence those things that were not as good they were. Father, Lord, you will be our joy. You will be our succor. You will be our sustaining grace, O God. Father, Lord, we pray that the devil will not rob us of our joy. The world will not rob us of our joy. The work we are doing will not rob us of our joy. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we bless you. We worship and exalt your holy name, O God. We bless you, Lord. We exhort you. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, we thank God for what uh, our sister has taught us tonight, my wife. I will pray that the joy of the Lord will continue to be our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, mm. uh, as we continue this prayer, I know that there are a lot of us that might be going through one trouble or, or the other but what we need to know that the bible say the joy of the lord is what is, is our strength you know and there's nothing we might be going through that the joy of the lord cannot solve for us yes. praise the lord hallelujah yeah i've got only two, two, two things before we pray and we're going to pray uh we're, we're going to pray for one of our sister uh whose father uh transisted to glory we're going to remember her in our prayer tonight and the Lord God Almighty will fill her with Amen. joy. The Lord will fill her with happiness in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, um, I was talking to somebody today in my place of work. And uh, and what we are talking about is about how to be happy, how to, how to be joyous. And uh, I said to them, I said, do we know that uh, it is easy to make somebody happy? It is easy to, to be of help to somebody and make them happy. Than for for us to make people unhappy, that we take it take it take a lot of effort mm. to make somebody unhappy than to make somebody happy. And I, I say to them, I say, look, if you want to be happy, just make sure that you make people around you, you make them happy. The secret of happiness is to make people around you happy. Mm. Do whatever it takes to make people around you happy. Do whatever it takes to make your husband happy. Do whatever it takes to make your parents happy. Do whatever it takes to make your wife happy. Do whatever it takes to make your colleagues at work to make them happy. 
be a source of happiness to them. You know, you, you, you don't need to use enough strength to make people happy. Mm. But to make somebody sad, it take a lot it take it take a lot of strength. Mm. You do, it took a lot of effort to make somebody uh, uh sad. I want us to pray that the Lord will make us an instrument of joy, Father, instrument Lord, of happiness Lord, to Lord, everyone that we are going to be meeting. That when we meet people, that Lord will make us is instrument make of us joy, instrument of joy. That our Lord, life Lord, will be a channel of blessing. Say, Father, Father as from today, oh God, you will make me a channel of blessing. That everyone I will have contact with, oh God, that my 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 life, oh God, my my life, oh God, we have we have so such positive impact so in their life. Oh, when I meet somebody, my life will have positive impact in their life. That they will not, they, that they will rejoice that they meet me. They will rejoice that, that they will meet me in the name of God. That it will make me a channel of joy, a channel of happiness. When the Lord makes you a channel of joy and happiness, if if you yourself you will be happy. Say, Father. Help me, Lord. Help me, you go for. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. As from today, the Lord will make us a channel of joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, the next prayer point we're going to pray is this. If we look at Psalm 126, I want us to look at Psalm 126. And this will be our experience. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 126, it will be our experience. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to read it. Psalm 126. Let's look from verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivities of Zion, yes, we were like them that dream. Yes. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Yes. And our tongue with singing. Yes. Then they said among the heaven, Yes. The Lord had done great things for them. Mm -hmm. The Lord had done great things for us. Yes. Whereof we are glad. Yes. Turn again our captivity, O Lord. Yes. As the streams in the south. Mm -hmm. They that sow in tears mm -hmm. shall reap in joy. Yes. He that goeth forth and weepeth. Yes. Bearing precious seed. Yes. Shall doubtlessly come again with rejoicing. Amen. Bringing his sheaves with him. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them. That what? That dream. That dream. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray. I don't know whatever is going on going on around you. The Lord pray that the Lord will bring about a turn around in your life. Ah, a turn around turn that will around be a great testimony. Turn a turn around. Say, Father, let, let my captivity, let that, let that be a turn around in my life. The Bible says when the Lord turn, turn the Bible says when the Lord turn again, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Say, Father, do something great in my life, O oh God. Olu a swe kum mi den re, Olu a swe kum mi den re. Say Father, by your power, by your by your glory, O God, something around from me, O God, whatsoever is making me sad, O Lord, turn it around for me. Whatsoever is making me weep, O God, whatever situation that is making me sad, Father, I pray you will touch it tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch this area of my life tonight. I don't know what area of your life you are. You are. You are. Experiencing sadness, you are experiencing sorrow. Say, Father, touch it tonight and turn my life around for good. Turn my life around for good. Turn our life around for good in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hmm. The Bible says, Turn again our captivity, O Lord, at the stream of the south. They that so so it in tears say what? Shall reap in joy. In whatever in area of your life mm. that you have sowed in tears, I want to pray that your time of reaping in joy has come. In your, that your sowing in tears will not be in vain. I don't know what I've sowed in tears. And you are thinking, will I, will I be able to reap? That today, that the Lord will, the Lord will grant you bountiful affairs. Bountiful affairs. Bountiful affairs. The Bible says everything you lay around upon will prosper. The Lord will grant you bountiful affairs in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah, I want us to, um, you know, when we finish the meeting, I want us to call our sister, uh, Sister Diola, uh, Mommy Lasse. Uh, our music leader, let's call her after the meeting. Um, 
I got a message from my sister this uh, this morning that uh, um, her dad um, translated to glory uh, today. You know, it's, it's very, very sad. But we have to be praying along with our sister. We need to support her with prayer. And we have to be praying for the family that the Lord God Almighty will comfort them mm -hmm. and the Lord will uphold them. Amen. I've not been able to speak to her too, but uh, I, will, 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 I will speak to her after the meeting. I would like every one of us to please let call our sister. Mm -hmm. Let uh, let um, let the Bible say let mourn with those that are mourning, mm -hmm. and let rejoice with those that are rejoicing. Mm -hmm. I know our sister is not money. Because I know that uh, Baba is Baba not is young. Baba has lived a good life. Mm. And I know that uh, as Baba lived a good life, we also were going to live a good life. Mm. And I know that mm. I want us to pray for our sister. Let's pray for our sister. Lord, sister pray Adiola. Let's pray for her. Let's pray for her. Let's pray for her. Let's pray for her. Let's pray that at this critical time, that the Lord God Almighty will reveal himself unto her. Let's pray that the grace of God will be sufficient for her. Let's pray that not only her, the grace of God will be suspect, will be sufficient even for all the family members, those who are in Nigeria and those who are here. Let pray for Mama, mama that Baba left. Let pray that Mama too. The grace of God will be upon Mama. Let pray that let pray, O God, that the power of God will be upon this family at this critical time in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, there's nothing we can say. People to, 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 to comfort people that are in this category. Let pray that the power of Holy Spirit will, will touch our sister. That Holy Spirit will touch her. That Holy Spirit will comfort her. Holy Spirit and our comforter. We pray, O God, dear Holy Spirit, we pray, Father, Lord, you will you comfort will your daughter. Holy you will comfort you will your daughter. You will comfort you your daughter. You will comfort your daughter, O God. At this critical time, as you've been thinking about Baba, I pray, O God, you will grant her grace. The grace to bear it, you will grant unto her. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray that the Lord God Almighty will order our step. As this has happened right now, there might be a lot of things in our heart that she might want to do. Let's pray that the Lord will order our step. The Lord will order our step. Father, we pray for your daughter at this critical time that you are going to order the step of your daughter. You are going to be with her, O oh God. You are going to empower her. Father, Lord God Almighty, whatever she will need to do, O oh God, through your through the help of Holy Spirit, she will be guided, she will be instructed. The Bible says you will instruct us, you will teach us what the way we shall go. Father, I pray you will teach her what in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. I want us to pray that at this critical time, the Lord will bless her. Because, you know, when somebody dies back home like that, you need a lot of things. People will be looking onto her uh, that she's here and they will be need, looking onto her for her. Let's pray that Lord will raise her for, for, for our sister. Let's pray that Lord will raise her for her. Father, we pray for your daughter that you will raise her for her, Lord. You will raise her for her. Every area of our life where is looking onto you for her. Father, I pray you will raise her for your daughter in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. You see, as we look at people, you know, that have died like that, what we need to talk about is how, where are we going to spend our eternity? Yeah. I want us to pray that before we are called home ourselves, yeah. that the grace of God will come upon our life, that will help us to know more of Christ. Because it's, 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 it, it, that is it's certain. Every one of us are going to go one day. Say, Father, help us to know you. Help us to come, drop closer to you, O oh God. As we know that every one of us will die one day, O oh God. Say, Father, help us, to, help us to align our life to you, O oh God. As we see people around us that are dying, help us to align our life to you in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible says we should not cry for those that have died in Christ. Mm. Because on the day of resurrection, we are going to resurrect together. Mm. I want us to pray that that God will grant us the grace. That God will grant us the grace. That we will not see death as taking away our loved one. We will see death as an opportunity for, for those who have died who to, 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 to see Christ and that on the day of resurrection that we will all resurrect again with Christ in Jesus' name. As we pray that prayer, let's pray that the Lord will grant us grace even to take care of our parents. Let's pray that God, those of us who have 
praying. Let's pray that Lord will grant us grace to take care of our parents while they are alive. That the, as the, as the Lord does not get to look after them, if we pray for them, the Lord will help them. The Lord will help our parents even to see Christ before they see that in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, announcement, please. Um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we want to thank God for keeping us alive even up to today. And uh, we pray that uh, His mercy shall not cease over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is Glorious Special Ministry. And um, our program is lined up as usual. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, we do have our prayer meeting and Bible study. We have our bi monthly live video, first Friday of the month and the third Friday of the month, mm. between 10 o'clock and um, mm. 12 midnight. Mm. We do have our end of the month prayer meeting every last Saturday of the month from 10 a.m. till 12, that is noon. Also, we start our service at 10 o'clock in the morning on Sundays with a 45 minute period spent on Sunday school. So please join us for Sunday school. And we love that the Sunday school we start our Sunday service and we end it up at 12 o'clock. For obvious reasons, all our programs are virtually held. Let us keep praying for the world, for the Lord God Himself, to heal the land. And um, in no time, we will come together even to worship Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our dear Heavenly Father, we give you glory, we give you praise for your word that you have sent to us this evening. To you be all the adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done in our lives, for what you are doing, and for the great and mighty heights you are taking us. Take all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray, O oh God, even concerning every soul that will log into this broadcast, Lord, that you will do something new, something great. Something tremendous in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we pray that even this word that you have, we have shared this evening will not stand against uh, against us at the day of judgment, but shall be to the justification of our souls and not to condemnation in Jesus' name. Amen. Prepare us for your heavenly kingdom, Lord. Father, prepare us for your heavenly kingdom so that we will be ready and we will not be found wanting at your appearance in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for all our families, all the families represented in the Glorious Better Ministry and all other families that are identifying with us. That, Lord, as we call upon you one time, you will show yourself stronger on our behalf. You will always show up for us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for all our children that you will bless them, that you will encounter them, that you will use them for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray, O oh God, for the peace of the world. We pray that you break the back of coronavirus for us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We ask, O oh God, Holy Spirit, that you will take preeminence, you will cause even gospel, even to gain free course in this land, to gain free course in Africa, to gain free course even at this end time, everywhere in Jesus' name. Amen. As many that are languishing, that are looking up unto you for one thing or the other, as many that are yearning and panting even for your deliverance, for your righteousness, Father, you will show yourself strong on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for all our people far and near. Father, Lord, we pray. That your gracious and your right hand of righteousness will sustain them, will be over, over them for goodness, for greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for all our children that they are for signs and wonders in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, precious. Thank you, Daddy. We pray you continue to move the church of God forward, that the gate of hell will not prevail against it, that your righteousness will be over your church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to commit every one of us to the hand of God. Amen. And I pray as this month of March is ending, I pray that your sorrow will end in Amen. Jesus' name. Your sorrow will end in Jesus' Amen. name. I pray as you move into the month of April, you are moving into joy. Amen. You are moving into Amen. joy. Amen. You are moving onto victory. Amen. I pray you will experience the Lord's faithfulness Amen. in the month of April Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for my sister too, that my sister... Sister Diola, you will enjoy the Lord faithfulness mm. in the month of April in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that Amen. the help that you need, mm. the Lord will raise help for you. Amen. The Bible says, I will look up unto the heat yes. from where cometh my help, my come the Lord, the maker of heaven and the earth. Mm. At this critical time, mm. every help you need, the Lord God Almighty will bring it across your way in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for you, every one of us. 
that in the month of April, mm. no sickness, Amen. no sorrow, Amen. no failure Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you, thank you Lord because Jesus. we continue to abide in your presence Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. For me to, for live, me to live is Christ, is Christ and, to and, and to die is gain. Let's say it again. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. God bless you. Bye.